While thyroid nodule size is certainly important, it does not always tell the whole story. In the next couple minutes, I'm gonna talk about the four things you must know about thyroid nodule size. The first important thing to know about thyroid nodule size is that size not only matters, but it also predicts the need for surgery. As you can see in this figure, as nodules grow and get larger, so does the need for surgery. If you have a thyroid nodule that reaches the size of a large kiwi or a lemon, you almost certainly will need surgery. While thyroid nodule size is certainly important, it does not always directly correlate with a cancer diagnosis. There are many large thyroid nodules that are not cancerous, and there are numerous small thyroid nodules that are cancer. It is important to note that larger thyroid cancers have a higher chance of lymph node spread. So if you have a nodule that's increasing in size and it turns out to be a cancer, there is a higher likelihood that when it is diagnosed, you have lymph node involvement at that time, which will require more surgery. When it comes to the thyroid gland, once a nodule is roughly the size of a lemon or four centimeters, there is no reason to continue to monitor it and let it grow and enlarge over time. While most of these nodules do not grow rapidly, they certainly are not going to shrink or go away. As these nodules get larger, it is also important to note they will eventually cause symptoms. Common symptoms as these nodules get large include difficulty swallowing, a noticeable lump or mass in the neck, pressure or discomfort in the neck, particularly when laying down or supine, and the feeling of something being stuck in one's throat. It is also important to note that as these nodules grow and become bigger, they can grow under the collarbone or sternum into the chest cavity, push on the windpipe and displace it to the right or the left, push on the swallowing tube or the esophagus and cause issues with that, or grow behind the voice box. Clearly, it is better to deal with these nodules when they are a more manageable size before they enlarge and become big enough to the point where they are causing significant symptoms. As these nodules get bigger and grow, the surgery does not become any easier, particularly in inexperienced hands. It is important to keep in mind that all cancers start small. So just because a nodule is not large does not mean it's not cancerous or not problematic. We have seen other cases where a small thyroid cancer measuring less than one centimeter has spread outside of the thyroid to lymph node compartments in the neck requiring a larger surgery. While this is not common, it points to the fact that thyroid nodule size cannot be the only factor in determining whether a biopsy or surgery is warranted. When a patient has been diagnosed with a thyroid nodule, whether that is on another imaging modality, physical exam, or there is just general concern for a thyroid nodule based on symptoms, the first test that needs to be ordered is an expert high resolution ultrasound. If your doctor orders an MRI, a CT scan, or a nuclear medicine thyroid uptake and scan as the first imaging test to evaluate a thyroid nodule, you need to immediately get a second opinion from an expert. An excellent high resolution ultrasound will allow the doctor to characterize the size of any thyroid nodules, their texture, consistency, and composition, and whether any of the structures, particularly lymph nodes around the thyroid have been affected. Finally, high resolution ultrasound is also used to perform needle biopsies of thyroid nodules and lymph nodes that can be affected by thyroid cancer and thyroid disease. If you have been diagnosed with a thyroid nodule or are suspicious that you may have a thyroid nodule, you can become one of our patients and get an expert thyroid evaluation at the Clayman Thyroid Center.